Hey, this is Robert Monroe, and I am doing a series of videos called Debunking the Difficulty. I ruthlessly stole this name from another content creator called Ryu. He does it about video games. I'm doing it about musical instruments because I think the same way people get frustrated with vintage games about this unabashed, crazy difficulty spike, and then you go, ugh, you throw the controller down. I think people do the exact same thing with instruments. Today, I want to talk about drums. I want all my drummers to subscribe, to follow, to comment, to like the video, because we're going to get in about all the things that are so frustrating about drums that they force you to throw your sticks away, to sell your drum kit, and give up on your dreams. So let's try to stop that. Well... Let's start at the very, 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 very beginning. The biggest difficulty at the beginning of playing drums is not having drums. This sounds stupid, right? But it's so true. I have encountered this so often. Someone's like, oh, I'd love to learn drum set. And then I go, oh, so you got a kid at home? No, I don't. Let's face it. Drums are starting to become very similar to piano in how they function in terms of availability. When you go on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace, there is a piano always that is free or 100 bucks, And all you got to do is go and grab it. The problem with pianos is they're very heavy. So you need three to four big friends to come help you pick it up and take it to your house. And then you have a big honking piano at your house, which is hard to deal with. The beautiful thing about drums is it's almost exactly the same. You probably will have to spend a little more than you would on a piano. But there's somebody with a drum kit. Do you need help to grab that drum kit? Probably. But do you have to have help? No. You can just disassemble it, put it away. Make sure you take pictures before you disassemble that thing so that you really know how to deal with it. Now, once you got that kit at your house, I will say... This second thing follows up with this. It's kind of part of this first thing, which is the care, the tuning, all of that stuff. If your drum kit sounds terrible, you're not going to want to play it. So I would highly recommend either, if you're a self-starter, go on YouTube, look up videos on how to tune, look at videos about cymbals, get educated about all that stuff Before you even start learning, I'm deadly serious. This sounds ridiculous. I would not recommend this strategy on other instruments. But for drums, I think it's a great idea to learn about care, to learn about tuning, all of this stuff. Because as you get comfortable with it, two things are going to happen. One is you're going to start to really own these drums. They're going to feel like your drums because you cared for them, you tuned them. The second thing that's going to happen is they're going to sound better. And when they sound better, you're going to want to play them more. So that's the first big difficulty spike with drum set. Weirdly enough, we've talked so far about voice, which I think comes a lot later. We've talked about guitar, which comes right away. And then we've talked about drums, which actually I think comes before you even start learning the thing. Now, let's talk about difficulty spike number two. This is a pretty straightforward one. Limb independence. When I am playing drums, I have to be able to do four separate things. I need to be able to do something in my right hand, in my left hand, in my right foot, and my left foot all at the exact same time. Let me tell you two different ways to overcome this difficulty. Way number one is simplifying and then adding. What do I mean by that? Let's say I'm playing a basic rock groove, right? I got my hi-hat going. I got my snare. I got my kick. I don't need to worry about my left foot, not doing any hi-hat fanciness. Well, I could just do my hands together. Then I could do my right hand with my right foot. Then I could do my left hand with my right foot. Then I could do my foot with both... Wait. That's actually everything. Well, we've covered it all. So that breaking up the difficulty is going to really help when you're learning this. That's thing number one. How about thing number two on this? Well, that is 
counting out loud. And this is one that I might reference on a lot of things because counting out loud, let me tell you, is so good. It helps with so many different things. That actually leads me into thing number three, which is very similar to the guitar third difficulty spike that I talked about. On guitar, I talked about how we have our own weird language when we're playing guitar that does not work with everyone else. Well, drum set, there's a bad tendency to develop our own sense of timing that does not work with other human beings. And then because drum set is such a cooperative instrument wanting to play with others, we get in this position where we are not able to play at church. We're not able to play with other people at garage bands. And so then it becomes a futile exercise to learn more drum set because we can't play with anybody else. There are two simple solutions to this. The first, and I would highly recommend this if you're just wanting to stay an amateur, is play along with the recordings. Just play along with the recording of the song you want to learn. Then when you play with other people, just channel that same energy. You're probably going to be fine. The second one, which is if you want to get to that more intermediate advanced level, play with a metronome. I know a metronome is a dirty word for a lot of musicians, but it will change everything. It makes everything so much easier and better in the long term. In the short term, it's almost its own difficulty spike. So we've talked about getting a drum kit, playing and tuning that drum kit. We've talked about limb independence. We've talked about playing in time so then you can play with other people. In my opinion, these are the three big hurdles you have to get over to finally get to that point where you're just playing all the time and having a blast. So if this video helped you address one of those things that you've been facing, please leave a like, leave a comment. Tell me something that I missed. I'd love to hear about it. And until next time, peace out and enjoy the ride.